Welcome back. Congress has hit back at Miki. Goa desk in charge of Congress, Hari Prasad, has said that Miki should have not gone public as he is a part of the government. CM2 has replied, CM has advised such ministers to exercise restraint while making any comments. Miki had blamed CM's inaction for repetitive attacks on foreign tourists. Well, he is a part of the cabinet. He should also take the responsibility. He can't blame any cabinet ministers. If there is anything, he should discuss with the coordination committee. He can't go public on this. Miki Pacheco on Thursday had criticized government heavily. He revealed that in spite of constant reminders, CM did not take law and order issues seriously. This is disgusting because uh, this is on and on going on. So I discussed with the chief minister. I made a, a, a several attempt to talk to him and I made a convenient note to him. And that I never received any 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 uh, suggestion from him or to sit across the table and discussion. So I I I, I basically inform my leaders. So my leaders maybe discuss with them and and uh, you know we are we are losing a, 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 you know na a Goa's name unnecessary. When CM was asked about this comment, he reminded ministers that they too are a part of the government. He also said that Goa is a safe tourist destination. Kamath also reiterated that government is working hard to protect foreign tourists. There is a collective responsibility in the government. I think whoever makes a statement, he has to first see that he is a part of this government. And that is why I think uh, each one uh, who is part of this government should follow some restraint. See, I am again repeating that Goa is still a safe place for the tourists. Now, we have 25 lakhs tourists visiting the state. And some incidents take place, which we should we also feel that such incidents should not take place. We are working in such a time to work out a solution for such type of cases not to happen. But even when such incidents are happen, I feel sometimes uh, it, it unnecessarily takes a image, uh, beating on the image of the state. Our principal correspondent Murari Shete with video journalist Anil Sanadi for Prudent Media. Pakistan Foreign Minister Shah Ahmad Qureshi accused that India is not clear in its policy towards Pakistan. His Indian counterpart SM Krishna hit back. Krishna said that there is no division in Indian polity. He said that shortcomings in 2611 investigation by Pakistan stand in the way. The investigations have not yielded any outcome. India and Pakistan Foreign Ministers met in New York during an international conference on Afghanistan. It seems that the Indian polity is divided. India is confused. India does not know whether they should engage with Pakistan or they should shy away. India on its part says shortcomings in Pakistani investigations post 2611 stands in the way. There is no dichotomy in Indian politics, in Indian polity. We met in New York. And then we had uh, hoped uh, that the investigations in Pakistan about the perpetrators of uh, uh, the Mumbai attack uh, would continue based on the dossiers that we have provided to Pakistan. Well, we haven't heard about uh, the outcome of those investigations if they have taken place. Pakistan believes it has scored a diplomatic victory at London with several Asian countries saying there is no need for a greater Indian role in Afghanistan. Qureshi has also voiced concern at Obama's AFPAC policy that deals with Afghanistan and Pakistan as regions with similar concerns. And the tensions only grow. Paltutso Muniz, the Kokri film has rocked the world cinema. Now the film is nominated for the NetPak Award in the forthcoming Berlin International Film Festival. The film is among the 10 shortlisted films nominated for the festival. Here's a report. The forthcoming Berlin International Film Festival 2010 has selected Pultarso Manis. Pultarso Manis is a Kokni film produced by Goan filmmaker Lakshmikan Shedgaonkar. Pultarso Manis is the only Indian film in the forum section. Pultorzo Manis had recently made it to the world's 101 best films of 2009. The network promotion of Asian cinema is an alliance of festival organizers and film critics whose aim is to support the Asian films. Pultorzo Manis had attained limelight after it won prestigious critics award in Canada International Film Festival. 
The movie was inaugural film of the Indian Panorama section in the IFI. The Man Beyond the Bridge is entirely shot in Goa and will be released shortly. Bureau Report Prudent Media News is disseminated through media. People believe, trust media. Everything starts with credibility and ends with truth. But does it always happen? This is the question raised in Ram Gopal Verma's newly released movie, Run. Ram Gopal Verma has yet again given another hit in the form of his new film, Run. The film is based on the functioning of today's media. The movie travels into the dark alley of the business of media. Amitabh Bachchan, Paresh Rawal and Ritesh Deshmukh have played the main characters. We caught up some movie buffs for their comments on this movie. Uh, Amitabh Bachchan is captivating. Uh, all the characters are being put in place. Uh, really captivating movie and I guess everybody should watch it. And uh, I guess Ram Gopal Verma has done a decent job with this movie. And uh, yes, another hit of 2010. This movie is too good. Yeah, it's all about corrupted pol politicians and uh, the media. Actually, the media is playing a main role out there. And like, uh, it's shown like the true fact behind media. Like how media people are getting corrupted due to politicians. Who's going to believe the news after watching this? <laughs> Who's going to believe the news channels after watching this? Our reporter Jason Suarez with video journalist Ganesh Hotkar. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.